Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeam here with another competitive Pokemon Sun and Moon showcase analysis moveset video, whatever you want to call it. This time I'm going to be talking about Mudsdale. Now, if you actually missed any of my previous moveset videos, I encourage you to check out the playlist. The link is down below. Maybe I did your favorite Pokemon. I will probably be doing your favorite Pokemon if it was in Sun and Moon because I'll be covering every single Sun and Moon Pokemon. Um... As the days go on, I think we're approaching, what is this, 40, maybe 41? I'm not sure, but, oof, been doing it for over a month, and I'm enjoying it. I really am enjoying using these Pokemon. I can't wait for Smogon to actually have tears. And uh, also, feel free to follow me on Twitter and Twitch. Links are down below. Anyway, Mudsdale, really cool Pokemon. Based on looks, it's a ground type, which means it only has three weaknesses, ice, water, and grass, as well as an immunity to electric, which is pretty cool on ground types. I always love ground types. I think they are some of the best defensive types in the game. Uh, or they have the best defensive typing in the game, in my opinion, of course. Uh, well, Fairy, if you're Clefable, also does. But, you know, you, I, when I think of ground types, I think of Epaudon, Landris Therian, Gliscor, all very, very bulky mods. And, um, yeah, I don't think Mudsdale differs too much from that. It does have base 100 HP, base 100 defenses, and base 85, pretty average, uh, base 85 spadef, and then a base 125 attack stat. Um... And the last thing I would say about it is does have a base 35 speed stat, so it's incredibly slow, but it does have decent defenses and a pretty solid attack stat, an amazing attack stat actually at base 125. Now, it has uh, three um, abilities that are not actually too subpar. Um, Inner Focus is great if you don't want to be flinched. It's probably better in uh, VGC though. Own Temple, you can't be confused. However, Stamina is the really cool new ability that we have with this mod that whenever it's hit by an attack, damaged by a move, it gets a plus one defense boost. So if your Mudsdale is in, my opponent goes for Bullet Punch or goes for U-Turn or goes for Knock Off, whatever, my Mudsdale Stamina activates and it gets a plus one defense boost for nothing. Um, it does take damage, but that's still really cool. And because of that, I think Mudsdale functions as a really interesting... Um, wall and i'll talk about that in the second set but the first set that we have is a choice band set this set is meant to take advantage of that base 125 attack stat um almost max out that bulk with 236 hp evs and then 20 speed that allows you to outspeed toxapex because toxapex does speed tie with you so you outspeed toxapex or even speed creeping toxapex with 4 8 or 12 speed 16 uh, though your toxapex should not be speed creeping What's the point of speed creeping? To speed creep mud tails, uh, mud sails, or to scald other top specs? It doesn't really matter. But the set is earthquake, close combat, heavy slam, and rock slide. These are pretty much the main attacks that Mudsdale can go for. Outside of this, there's like Body Slam, Return, Frustration, Facade. So these are the main attacks that Mudsdale can go for. Earthquake is your stab. Uh, it's stronger than high horsepower. High horsepower is its um, signature move, which is um, a single target. Pretty much Earthquake with 95 base power and 95 accuracy, so weaker than Earthquake by 5% and also less accuracy. Uh, but that's again better in doubles where you can single target somebody. But Earthquake and Close Combat, Close Combat allows you to uh, pummel through um, Steel types that would otherwise take your Earthquake. Maybe like Kartana also allows you to hit Pokemon like Chansey, Blissey, uh, things like that. Air Balloon, Heat Ran. Heavy Slam because Mudsdale is actually one of the uh, heaviest Pokemon in the game. I think he's. What is it, top 10, top 15 heavy Pokemon? I know he's up there. He's over 2,000 pounds, if I'm not mistaken. So Heavy Slam allows you to hit Pokemon such as Tapu Lele, Tapu Fini, Fairy types in general. And then Rock Slide is your final attack. Uh, Rock Slide allows you to hit those Pokemon in the air. Um, outside of Close Combat, it has like super power. But why drop your defense and your attack when you can just drop your defenses and uh, still keep your power? But outside of that, it doesn't really have many physical attacks going for it. Um, but Rock Slide does allow you to hit Pokemon in the air, flying types, um, I would say Talonflame if it was so relevant, but who knows where Mudsdale will end up, so maybe Talonflame will be relevant in that tier, but just flying types in general. It's also you, one of your strongest attacks to hit Celestial outside of close combat. Now, alternatively, you can also run a faster spread to outspeed Pokemon such as Clefable, Tyranitar, Minspeed Tyranitar, so you can run something like this. Uh, again, this allows you to outspeed or a little bit more, I think, is a jump point. I think 160 is a jump point. But this allows you to outspeed Pokemon such as Clefable, Tyranitar, uh, Minspeed, and um, Heavy Slam is ridiculously strong on on Clefable. And an Earthquake is obviously a solid 2 KO. But I prefer a bulkier spread because it is a pretty bulky mon, and it can tank some hits. And I'd rather tank hits and get off the attack than run a faster spread. Next up, we have the spread that I've actually had the most success with because it can actually be outclassed by um, any ground type as a choice banner, even as a physical attacker. But I think that this Spadef set is really solid. The fact that it does have that um, immunity to electric 
as well as resisting rock, resisting poison, which I think are its only two resistances if I'm not mistaken, and then being neutral to every other attack. So this set is a spadef set with Rest, Toxic, Earthquake, and Roar. The idea of this set is to phase around your opponent, so you want to you want to pack this with Hazard, Skarmory, Toxapex, Feral Thorn, um, any Stealth Rocker, uh, also Rapid Spinners or whatnot. So you spare this with Hazards, you phase them around, you rest up, you can take on Magnazone, so it actually pairs really well with Shed Shell Skarmory or Shed Shell Celesteela, because Magnazone usually comes in with Shed Shell, you're able to switch out, and then Mudsdale is not uh, 3 at KO'd by Flash Cannon from Magnazone, if it's like Scarf or not Specs basically. If it's not Specs, it's not 3 at KO'd. Um, and if it's specs, it is three killed, but you can just earthquake that thing and knock it out. So, alternatively, you can run sleep talk and run like rest, sleep talk, earthquake, roar, heavy slam, or rock are also options. But toxic is really nice to be able to damage and hit Pokemon such as Mandibuzz, wearing them down. Pokemon in the air, basically, Mandibuzz, like Dragon, uh, just Pokemon that are levitating. Um, and that your Earthquake does not touch. I would also pair Mudsdale with something that can get rid of Skarmory and Celesteela because opposing Skarmory and Celesteela can be issues for Mudsdale, especially because it can't touch them at all when it can Leech Seed. I mean, it can actually stall out Celesteela with resting up because um, every single time Celesteela touches you, uh, with flamethrower or heavy slam you get a defense raise which is why this set is so cool because you, as you're letting it take special attacks from Pokemon that's checking like Tapu Koko um, like uh, Pokemon like it's Zerkatry and uh, Magnezone, excuse me, um, you're getting the defense raise which also allows you to take on the physical partners like I have an example of in the showcase that you guys will see later where it's able to take on Pokemon such as Metagross because it's taking the special attacks to get the uh, stamina defense raise. But yeah, you can run Rest Sleep Talk as well, but I prefer Toxic, Earthquake, and Roar after um, testing it. And I would definitely run this with a Cleric like Serena, like Chansey, like Heal Bell, Clefable, anything that has Heal Bell or anything that has Healing Wish support. Um, preferably Heal Bell, Aromatherapy, I would definitely pair that with this set. That way when you rest up, you can get back up your, um, you can get back up you know, you can wake up, basically. So next up, we have the uh, Speedy Life Orb set. Pretty much a choice band set, but with speed. I think that when you can switch up moves, speed is definitely a better option. And again, this set outspeeds Pokemon Physical Fable, Tyranitar, Earthquake, Close Combat, Heavy Slam, and Rock Slide. Base 35 speed, unfortunately, is very, very slow um, for Mudsdale. But it can function as a Life Orb attacker and mix up those moves. Again, Close Combat, Earthquake, respectively. But because it is base 35 speed, this is why it can also function on Trick Room as a physical attacker. Basically, the Life Orb set, but for Trick Room. Again, same four attacks because those are the main things that Mudsdale has going for it, unfortunately. Um, they're not bad attacks at all. I wish that boy got Flare Blitz, though. If he got Flare Blitz, oof. Dump that round set. Skarmory, Solasteela, Feral Thorn, gone. I don't care. Gone. But it can function as a Trick Room abuser. It is base 35 speed. It's very slow. Uh, however, Pokemon such as Crab Brawler, such as, um, well, mainly Crab Brawler and maybe Beware, can function better on Trick Room as physical attackers. Uh, not only having Stab close combat on uh, Crab Brawler and then Stab Hammer Arm on Beware, uh, which also drops his speed, making it faster, but also having options like Ice Punch and Icicle, uh, uh, Ice Hammer to be able to damage the flying types or the Pokemon in the air that Mudsdale has uh, trouble with. So uh, it can definitely function as um, a Trick Room abuser just because of its low base speed and being a ground type obviously blocks Volt Switch. Slower than Magirna on Trick Room as well. So that's pretty cool being a ground type that can beat that earthquake that thing and knock it out. But um, there are better options on the Trick Room, I'm not gonna lie. Now Assault Vest is another set that can run. And again, just a little bit about speed, a little bit of speed to outspeed Toxapex, max attack, near max HP, or we'll just go. Yeah, near max HP, max attack. This set can check Pokemon such as Tapu Koko, Zerkatry. It's not o code by Grass Knot. Um, it takes nothing from Dazzling Gleam. Dazzling Gleam, I believe, does like less than 30% uh, to this or around there if it's Life Orb. Same thing with this set. It can actually check Tapu Koko if it's not packing Grass Knot. And um, the Assault Vest set lets it take hits. Like, like Latios is Draco, Heavy Slam that thing back. Um, basically, lets it take special hits. I prefer running Spadef to Assault Vest if I have to run a Spadef Mudsdale. But this can let it switch up moves while being more offensive. And again, you're going to want to pair this Pokemon like Magnezone. You want to pair this with Pokemon that can get rid of everything that Mudsdale can't touch. So pretty much anything in the air. Uh, Celesteela, Skarmory, doesn't like those. Rotom, because Rotom... Uh, is immune to Earthquake, resists Heavy Slam, and doesn't take too much from Close Combat. Though a Banded, uh, a Banded Mudsdale, or a Rotom has to fear a Banded Mudsdale. Not necessarily, because Close Combat is about a 2 kill after Rocks, but um, obviously Rotom can burn it or go for Hydro Pump versus that. But if I have to use an Assault Vest one, it will be this spread. Um, 
again just maxing out your HP or near maxing out your HP maxing out your attack just to deal damage but uh, it can take hits it can take Dracos from Lotties it can take on Magirna block the volts which again a ground type an offensive ground type that can function as an assault vest user now the other options it does have uh, Chestleberry can be used on a rest set if you want to um, just fully heal up you can actually use that way like counter counter is actually pretty cool because again stamina does raise its defense every single time it's hit so you're boosting your defenses you can take more hits and go for counter and get off double damage now i have bide here i'm good bide isn't usually a move that you see in competitive ever okay ever however on mudsdale i think on a rest pokemon especially when you got rid of special attackers from your opponent and that thing just keeps boosting i think it's a legitimate option on mudsdale it is in the other options. I fought uh, Scoot using this Bide set, and uh, it was actually destroying me until I credit. Uh, I've also tested it myself, and to some success, I've actually used like a Rest Bide Earthquake set with Sleep Talk, um, or just a Rest set with Bide. And the idea was that my opponent hits me, it takes two turns, and I deal double the damage taken. So it allowed me to break through Pokemon such as Celestela. Um, allowing me to break through pretty much any physical attacker especially because of stamina now I put it in the other options because I don't think it deserves it's a gimmick it's a gimmick and I don't think it deserves an actual set counter isn't a gimmick though counter is definitely a legit option but bite is definitely a gimmick but I have used it which is why I want to mention it and uh, I've used it to some success so outside of that it doesn't really have too many moves going for it like I said uh, you can run like a protect toxic set a sub toxic set um, bulldoze um, rock tomb is also an option maybe the assault vest set if you want to lower your opponent's speed for a teammate if that's necessary you can definitely do something like that but outside of that it doesn't really have too many other options even like z sandstorm it doesn't make a difference because that boy doesn't get too much speed from that <laughs> anyway but in any case guys i hope you all learned something maybe enjoyed or whatnot feel free of course to leave a like subscribe do your thing and uh yeah follow me on twitch and twitter the links are down below and i'll see you guys next time goodbye friends